Alright, so we're finally getting started with our walkthrough of Silver FX Pro 3, part of Nick's Collection 5. I brought the image over from Photoshop and I'll link the video for how we do that up here somewhere. We're going to skip over the histogram for now since it isn't particularly useful until we get into selective adjustments, which will begin in the fourth video in this series. So beginning with brightness adjustments, most of these will be familiar to you if you've ever used a developing program before. Brightness. Adjust how bright or dark the image is in an indiscriminate way. If you move it right or left, it will change the entire image X amount. Highlights. Focuses on the highlights may or may not be terribly effective. For instance, it won't recover completely blown out highlights, and overuse can make things look terrible. For instance here, you can see that we have a portion of the bird's cheek that is completely blown out. Moving it all the way to the right obviously makes it a lot worse, and moving it all the way to the left doesn't save anything, and in fact makes the other highlights look pretty weird. So Next up we have Midtones. It's a strong adjustment tool for, you guessed it, the middle range of the exposure. Um, it's a slightly more refined version of the exposure tool that only will affect, you know, affect the, the middle mountain of the histogram. Okay, and so then we're going to move on to shadows here in a second, which are similar to highlights, just with the dark portions. And it can be easily overused as well. Uh, you know, you can make things really black or completely washed out and remove the contrast. Uh, is it particularly effective? It really depends on the look you're going for. And finally, we have dynamic brightness. This is the one that is really interesting and quite smart, actually. It has a much finer level of control on a whole image scale. It brightens or darkens the image while maintaining, by and large, the level of detail. So what we're gonna do is let's try zeroing out the image, which we already have done, and just working with brightness. Bump it up to 25%. It washes out very quickly. Let's reset that to zero and use the dynamic brightness instead. Let's bump that up 25% and it should look a whole lot better than it does in comparison. Can it be fine tuned some more? Of course. Is it a more delicate start point? Yes. So now we can go back and fine tune the image a little bit more with our shadow slider, our midtones. Our generalized exposure and a tiny touch on the highlights just to bring them down in line. All right, so that gives us an acceptable starting point to then work with this exposure in future iterations of this series. Part two will be focusing on contrast adjustments, part three on structure and tonality protection, and once we're done there we'll move on to the ultra powerful tools and selective adjustments. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. All right.